Hi there everyone, I've been thinking about what I will discuss in my next video. Well, in this video, I want to talk about a cute marsupial called the sugar glider. Have you ever considered the possibility of owning a sugar glider as a pet? These tiny marsupials with their large eyes and ability to glide through the air are certainly a unique addition to any household. Native to the forests of Australia, Indonesia, and Papua New Guinea, sugar gliders have adapted to a life in the trees, using their patagium, a thin furred membrane that extends from their wrist to their ankle, to glide from tree to tree in search of food. Despite their small size, sugar gliders are full of personality and curiosity. They're nocturnal creatures, most active during the night, and they have a unique diet that includes a variety of fruits, vegetables, and insects. But remember, these little creatures are more than just a cute face. They're a commitment. As with any pet, owning a sugar glider comes with its own set of pros and cons. Let's dive into the pros of owning these fascinating creatures. Sugar gliders with their big, curious eyes and soft fur bring a unique charm to the world of pets. First off, sugar gliders have a surprisingly long lifespan for such small animals. With proper care and attention, these little guys can live between 12 to 15 years. That's longer than many dogs and most small rodents. This means plenty of time for you to form a strong, rewarding bond with your gliding buddy. Now let's talk about their sociable nature. Sugar gliders are extremely friendly and love to bond with their human companions. They're nocturnal by nature so they'll be most active and playful during your evening downtime. These critters are also known to form deep bonds with their human caretakers, often seen snuggling into pockets or curling up on shoulders. As for their diet, sugar gliders are relatively low maintenance. They thrive on a balanced mix of fruits, vegetables, and protein. You won't need to invest in expensive, specialized food for these guys. A well-prepared salad, some lean meat or eggs, and the occasional treat of yogurt or honey will keep them happy and healthy. Their small size is another definite pro. Sugar gliders are compact, lightweight creatures that are easy to handle and transport. Whether you're moving homes or just heading to the vet, their small size makes travel a breeze. Plus, their compact size doesn't equate to a lack of personality. These creatures are known for their playful antics and curious nature. Lastly, sugar gliders are relatively clean animals. They groom themselves regularly and don't have a strong odor, making them a good choice for those who value neatness in a pet. While these pros are enticing, it's also crucial to understand the cons before making a decision. After all, owning a pet is a long-term commitment that should never be taken lightly. So stay tuned as we explore the other side of the coin in our next segment. Now let's shift gears and talk about the cons of owning a sugar glider. While these little marsupials are undeniably adorable and have their fair share of pros, it's crucial to understand that owning a sugar glider isn't all fun and games. There are some significant challenges that potential owners should be aware of before making the commitment. For starters, sugar gliders are nocturnal animals. This means they are most active during the night. So while you may be ready to hit the hay, your sugar glider is just gearing up for playtime. This can result in some sleepless nights if you're not prepared. Next, let's talk about their housing needs. A small cage won't do for these energetic creatures. They require a large and secure cage that provides plenty of space for jumping, climbing, and gliding. This can take up a significant amount of space in your home and may not be feasible for everyone. Another important aspect to consider is their social needs. Sugar gliders are highly social animals and thrive in an environment where they can interact with others. Keeping a single sugar glider can lead to loneliness and depression for the animal. Hence, it's often recommended to keep them in pairs or groups. Finding a vet who specializes in exotic pets can also be a challenge. Regular vets may not be equipped to handle the unique health needs of a sugar glider. This could potentially lead to additional costs and travel to find a suitable vet. Lastly, but certainly not least, is the legal aspect. Sugar gliders are not legal to own in all states. Before deciding to bring one of these critters into your home, it's essential to check your local and state regulations. As you can see, owning a sugar glider is a commitment that requires careful consideration. It's not just about the cute factor but also about whether you can provide the right environment, care, and commitment that these unique animals need. To sum it up, sugar gliders are unique, sociable, and fascinating pets with their own set of pros and cons. Let's take a moment to reflect on what we've discovered about these endearing little creatures. On the pro side, sugar gliders are highly social animals, forming strong bonds with their human caregivers. They're also incredibly cute and fun to watch as they glide around, their playful antics sure to bring a smile to your face. 
On the topic of their lifespan, sugar gliders can live up to 15 years in captivity, given they're provided with the right care and nutrition. Speaking of which, their diet is quite specific, consisting of a balanced mix of fruits, vegetables, proteins, and nectar. It's crucial to ensure they receive a well-rounded diet to maintain their health and well-being. Now, as captivating as sugar gliders are, they also come with a set of challenges. They are nocturnal animals, meaning they are most active at night. This could potentially disrupt your sleep. They're also highly social and require a great deal of interaction and stimulation. Isolation can lead to depression in these delicate creatures. Moreover, taking care of a sugar glider requires a serious commitment. They need a spacious cage for exercise and play and daily cleaning to maintain hygiene. They also require regular veterinary checkups to keep them in good health. As for their legality, while they are legal to own in most states, it's always best to check your local laws before bringing one home. Some states or cities may have specific rules regarding exotic pet ownership. Whether or not a sugar glider is the right pet for you depends on your lifestyle, commitment and willingness to meet their specific needs. Always remember a pet is a lifetime commitment and should never be an impulsive decision. So if you're considering a sugar glider as a pet, take the time to weigh the pros and cons and understand the responsibility you're taking on. After all these adorable creatures deserve a loving and dedicated home. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked the video please hit the like button and subscribe. Take care everyone.